goes over the side. lovely fresh water and that yucky seawater in a matter of minutes tell me how does that work okay time for a quick science lesson the reason we can get fresh water from salt water is that the salt water is pushed at really high pressure through an incredibly fine membrane that membrane will allow the fresh water to come through but will be small enough to block the salt particles hence we have the fresh water coming out from one side and really intense brine water coming out the other all right boring lesson over back to it hi welcome to the adventures of sea pigeon it's been a long long time due to lockdown since we've been out we've managed to escape for a day today and we now have a new rainman water maker we have not tried it or set it up yet so we're going to give it all a run through and this is going to be powered by our new Honda generator as well so hopefully the two should be producing around about 120 to 140 litres an hour so we shall see. It came with lots of spare filters and absolutely everything you need to do the job. Your main unit here and the double output there. The first thing you have to do on these and it's only a once is replace an oil vent in here so where you top it up with engine oil there's not a vent so this is a one-off thing as long as you store it upright so I'm just going to run through that now and change the oil vent like I say this is a one-time change this is for traveling with this one has an air vent in Man came with lots of spares, so a tool here for changing the first stage filter, and also it came with a, I think, an additional five stage filters, as well as some pickling solution, which should be enough to last you a year. They recommend for pickling that if you're not going to use it for seven days, um, it, or you can leave it fresh for seven days. After that, you need to pickle it. This is just to um, stop any bacteria growing within the filters. Okay, here we have the main case. With a nice extra length of pipe, so if I've got to run it a long distance, this is already provided, very useful indeed. Like I say, I'm brand new to this, I have not done it before. Hoses are nicely labelled, high pressure, very nice snap fit on the end of that. Very important afterwards to return these back on it to keep it clean. That's the pickling solution in there at the moment, so connect the high pressure. What's it smell like? No smell at all. Keep these safe in your bag, you don't want to lose these. Back in the bag safe. So that's my high pressure fitted. This one is my product water. So eventually we'll be having the water coming out of that. Again, filter which needs to go on afterwards and in the bag. So this must be product water. And this is my brine output. So my brine output Again, off with the end, and my brine output over the edge of the boat. Cool. Product water, I'll leave over the edge of the boat for now. 
pickling solution in. So I'm going to run this for 30 minutes to make sure that the pickling solution is fully run out. One of the features I like about this is it comes with a lovely flow gauge. So we'll be interested to see how that does. Now, as far as I know, we are ready to go. So there's my input hose, and I have a filter for that. Nice, simple snap, snap. This goes over the side. From reading the instructions, it's very important on that to make sure this never sucks air. So your input filter must be under and never run this when you're going along unless you've got a weight on because you do not want this sucking up air. It has a pre-pump in and then a high pressure after pump. So apart from powering up to the generator now, I think we are ready. This Honda generator has an eco setting on it. It recommends, due to the, to the uh, initial shock on this, that you start this up without it being on the eco. Once this is up and running, you can then put that button onto to the eco. Let's see how the Honda generator starts. And finally switching on quick check that the hose is submerged and not drawing air and another check to see that the brine is pumping out over the side and also the white product water. When we first received this unit it contained a pickling solution to keep the membranes in top condition. It's really important if you have a pickling solution within your membranes to run it for 30 minutes to make sure all of the pickling solution is flushed out before using the water for drinking. As you can see the green hose is pumping out the brine solution. The next stage is to slowly increase the pressure valve which opens up the flow through the membranes. This is slowly because you do not want to put a sudden high pressure, 800 psi, running through your membrane. So it's important to just gradually turn this up slowly. As you can see here, it's quite happily running at around 55 bars. This can be changed if in brackish water you might not need as much pressure, so you make sure that your flow gauge is not exceeding 35 gallons. Here you can see the flow gauge showing around about 35 gallons per hour or 135 litres per hour. Here we filled a 2 litre container which took a total time of 58 seconds. This is an impressive 124 litres per hour. So, while waiting for the water to flush all the picking solution out, time for a swim. And yes, it was very cold. So nice to be able to rinse off with fresh water on the deck of the boat. What evidence. Finally time to test the product water coming from the rain man. Well, this is my first taste of rain man water maker. Well, that tastes good. I'm really surprised that I'm taking seawater and get this incredible water. Oh, that is good. This little unit here measured the total dissolved solids within the water. This was reading 128. To give you an idea, my tap water at home reads around about 195, so that's impressively clean water. 
After filling the water tanks on our boat, we decided to flush the system through with fresh water. This was water that was made with the rain man. Uh, under no circumstances should you use water from taps as this can contain chlorine and can be quite destructive to the membranes. Again, it is important not to run the bucket dry as you do not want to suck air into the rain man. Fantastic! Thanks for showing us that, Neil. Now we're going to be completely independent. No more being held for ransom. For water. Independent for water.